Oh, what's going on guys? HK Titan here with another Balloons video. And first things first, as always, I hope you guys are having an amazing day. So in today's video, we're going to be jumping back into our Balloons Tower Defense 6 walkthrough slash playthrough slash guide. And we're going to be jumping back into another double HP Moab. Because I've gotten a couple of requests to do more half cash and more double HP Moab. So I figured since today is a co-op challenge, we can go ahead and do another... Uh, d double HP Moab and every day where we have a co-op ch challenge then we'll go ahead and drop like another double HP Moab or a half cash so that's the current current plans that I, I have just to kind of break up the mon monotony and stuff like that so let's go ahead and jump into it so with this ch challenge I won't be using a hero and I will not be using monkey knowledge so this strategy will work for each and every single one of you as long as you have the towers unlocked so our first tower is going to be this ninja monkey and the placement that we're going to go ahead and place him at we want to make sure that we place him a little bit offset here because of course this log is right, right here and the ninja monkey can't really see around it and then same way for right here this path net next to the tree as well so without further ado let's go ahead and get it started here so the first thing that we're going to be going for is we're going to be going for a dart monkey because of course in these early rounds the ninja monkey struggles a, a little bit with popping all of the different balloons so having this dart monkey to help it out is gonna greatly increase the amount of balloons that, that we've popped we're not gonna up upgrade it too far we're basically just gonna keep, keep it at a zero 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 and that's just to make sure that we're able to pop all of the different balloons as they appear on the screen all right so basically what, what we're gonna be doing is we're gonna be Starting off upgrading this nin this ninja monkey to a 301 and then once we get all of this set then we're going to start working on upgrading an alchemist as well and while we're upgrading this ninja monkey i just wanted to say or take this time to say thank you to each and every one of you the support on the channel has been absolutely amazing we are at 462 subscribers we are halfway to uh being able to apply for a partnership with YouTube, which has been the goal from the start, as additionally on top of that, uh, providing great high quality content for you guys because it's just re really fun to see like the reactions in the comments and of course how helping each and every one of you beat ch challenges that you may be stuck on. Additionally, on top of that, I uh, I wanted to bring up that I will be placing a poll in this video, so. I was thinking about adding another game to the channel. I know I've been discussing it in prior videos, mainly I think like a month ago and stuff like that. I put up a couple of different polls back then and I have had pe people say that they wanted me to add like Ark Survival Evolved or even DayZ. So basically since Ark Genesis just dropped, I'll add another poll in this video so you guys have a little bit of input on what you want to see with the channel. And basically, it'll say, do you want to see Ark Survival on the, ch on the ch channel or not? And of course, if you guys do, I already have the Genesis DLC downloaded and I do have Ark Survival Evolved downloaded as well. So again, it's going to be completely up to you, up to you guys, because of course, this channel, I want this channel to be primarily revolved around my community. And of course, uh, you guys have a say in what you guys get to watch. So enough of that, let's go ahead and jump back into uh, the walkthrough. So anyways, as, as you guys can see, we upgraded the engine monkey to a double shot with seeking sh shurikens, and now we're gonna start upgrading an alchemist as well. So what the alchemist is gonna do is it's going to allow our ninja monkey to pop lead le balloons as well as it's gonna pop lead le balloons itself. And actually we're going to end up selling the start monkey as well that that way the alchemist potions are primarily only affecting the ninja monkey all right perfect so the next thing that we're going to be doing is we're going to be buying a berserker brew and then once we get berserker brew we're going to go ahead and continue to upgrade this ninja monkey all the way to balloon jitsu following that we're going to get into the monkey ace because the ninja monkey should be enough to take care of the moab at round 40 but since it is double hp moab we want to have a little bit of security here so that's why we're going to go ahead and go with the monkey ace just to make sure that we're able to deal with the uh moab balloon on round 40. 
All right, so we should be able to afford Balloon Jutsu here in just one second. As you can see, the Alchemist and the Ninja Monkey are taking care of the Lele Balloons with no issues whatsoever. And I said I was going to upgrade to Berserker Brew on this uh, Alchemist first, and that's what we're going to do. Now we're going to upgrade to Balloon Jutsu. So the cash might be a little bit tight, but we should still be able to afford to get our Tier 3 Monkey Ace up as well on top of getting our Ninja Monkey up to Balloon Jitsu. All right, just a little bit more, and we should be able to afford it. And then once we can afford Balloon Jitsu, then we're gonna put all of our money into this Monkey Ace. Now, it probably would be a good idea to go with Stronger Stimulant, but with this strategy I have planned and stuff like that, the Monkey Ace does a massive amount of damage to the Moa Balloon, and it will hit it basically wherever it is on the screen. So that's why I went ahead and chose to go with the Monkey Ace over upgrading our Alchemist to Stronger Stimulant. Alright, so we're going to go ahead and place this Monkey Ace right up here on top of the tree. That way, if we got the positioning right, uh, let's see. There we go, perfect. Now we're going to go ahead and upgrade to a Fighter Plane. And we're going to have more than enough money to do that. We can probably end up buying Exploding Pineapple 2. And if you guys look at the pathway that, that we have, it's going to be able to hit the Moab Balloons and the Solo Balloons relatively easy with the Figure Infinite Pathway. And I don't know if I said it or not, but make sure you have your Alchemist targeting on Strong. That, that way it's mainly focused on popping the Lead Balloons and stuff like that. Because even though we do have the acidic mixture dip the uh alchemist the alchemist could or the ninja monkey could end up missing one or two lead balloons and we actually can't afford to get stronger stimulant as as well i was worried we would be a little bit short since we bought that dart monkey but as you guys can see we were able to afford it and of course the monkey ace was the right way to go because without without it i don't think we would have been able to pop that moab with just our balloon jitsu ninja monkey and our alchemist so now that we have that we can go ahead and focus on getting a little bit more of a solo balloon type tower down and of course you guys have probably seen me use it in the past but we're going to be going with the Tier 3, w w Wizard Monkey, Monkey Sense, and Dragon's Breath. And of course, this this tower alone does an amazing job at dealing with like Round 63 and Ceramic Balloons in general. So he's a great to tower to use if you guys ever sh struggle or, or if you guys are ever struggling with those rounds. All right, and then of course we're gonna go ahead and grab ourselves another wizard monkey. And with this wizard monkey, we're gonna be going top path with arcane spike. And of course, if you guys are unfamiliar with what with what arcane spike does, is it basically does increase damage to Moab balloons, which is why the tier four top, or the top tier tier four w w wizard monkey is another great choice for double HP Moabs. And then of course if if we have enough time, we can go ahead and go for a Super Monkey as as well. The Dark Knight Super Mount Monkey is also extremely good at popping Moab Balloons as well. And it does have that pierce da damage similar to what the Wizard Monkey has. I think when you cost it out, they're roughly the same price. But of course, the Super Monkey does have that knockback ability. So it's kind of maker's choice what you guys want to go with. All right, and we are getting extremely close to being able to afford this arcane spike, which as soon as we get the arcane spike, then we'll go ahead and go for a super monkey as, as well. That, that way we have the Moab class balloons covered and we do not have to worry about any of the Moab balloons making it through. All right, so here's our super monkey. Uh... Let's go ahead and place them a little bit more towards, or actually, yeah, we go ahead and place him here on top of the tree. That, that way he has the most time to actually hit the Moab balloons as, as they're passing by because, of course, he has this big circle where he can actually hit them. 
All right, so let's go ahead and grab not back and ultra vision and then we'll go ahead and buy laser blast and of course plasma blast as well. That way our super monkey is doing the most damage as he possibly can. And as you guys can see, we really aren't struggling whatsoever. We aren't using a hero and we have our monkey knowledge turned off. So this strategy will work for each and every single one of you. Uh, I'm not using any tier fives. So getting all of the towers up to a tier four that I, that I use should be relatively easy as well because you don't need to worry about getting any tier fives. A uh, little thing, uh, if you guys don't have the monkey ace unlocked, then I do recommend unlocking it up to a tier 3 at least because of course the monkey ace even though it's not that great of a tower in dealing with like solo balloons it's an extremely good tower in dealing with moab balloons it'll make all of these double hp moab ch challenges a lot easier all right and then as soon as we can afford to buy our dark knight we're going to go ahead and do that it shouldn't be too much longer before we can afford it and of course, we're going to be able to deal with this BFB with little to no issues whatsoever, especially since we have a bunch of towers that do massive damage against Moab class balloons. All right, perfect. And of course, it is extremely important that you keep this balloon jitsu, this balloon jitsu ninja monkey as as well, because of course. Since we're using primarily wizard mon monkeys and stuff like that, if we did not have this balloon jitsu with wizard monkey in the front, the purple balloons would absolutely dominate us. So that's why it's extremely important to make sure that you guys make sure to keep that ninja monkey on the screen the entire time. All right, so uh, we've pretty much beaten the challenge now. We really shouldn't have have to struggle with too many more balloons. I suppose if we really want, wanted to, we could go ahead and get a couple more of the tier 3 fire wizards going as well. That, that way the ceramic balloons don't make it as far as they have been. Because it seems like those are the only balloons that our uh, tower co composition are struggling with so far. So we'll go ahead and upgrade to another dra dragon's breath and we'll be able to uh, finish off whatever balloons that the uh, uh, n ninja monkey is having troubles with it, dealing with. All right, perfect. So we're at round 66, and of course, we pretty much have all of the towers that we need. We can actually go ahead and remove this monkey ace, and we can go ahead and place down another wizard monkey as well, upgrading it to a dragon's breath with monkey sense as, as, as well, and no balloons sh should make it through. We have all of the Moab damage covered, and of course, we have the solo balloons covered covered as well with the three fire wizards that, that we have. All right, so uh, I suppose we can go ahead and buff our two towers up up here and buy ourselves another alchemist as well. And with this Al alchemist, of course, he's going to be ensuring that our super monkey gets buffed and our second fire wizard right here is going to stay buffed as well. All right, so as soon as we have enough money to go ahead and afford that stronger st stimulant, we're going to go ahead and do that. We can actually switch his targeting over to a targeting strong as well. Even though having it switched to targeting strong at this point in the round, it's really not going to make that much of a difference, but it always helps. It's, it's just good to keep that practice go going because when you do have an alchemist in the early rounds you do want to have its targeting set to strong all right perfect so we just have six more rounds uh, let's go ahead and place down another fire wizard I, I know I'm placing down quite a few of, of, of them but I don't want to end up lo losing to ceramic balloons which is pretty much the only thing that could possibly make it through at this point especially since we really don't need to worry about the Moab balloons because we have all of these Moab crushing towers on the field. All right. So at this at this point, I again, I, I just wanted to make sure that, that you guys, if you guys are s skipping around on the stuff, I 
I will have a poll in in this video for if you guys want to see me add another video game to the channel. The current game that I am highly considering is, of course, Ark Survival Evolved. So feel free to click on that poll and let me know if you guys want me to add that to the channel. All right, we're on round 77. We have another 7000 dollars to spare and as you guys can tell the balloons aren't even making it very far at all i think the furthest they made it was round 76 when we get the massive rush of camo ceramic balloons they managed to make it around the tree stump but we were able to finish it off with our fire wizards and i'm actually not even going to invest in another top tower because at, if, if we add another top tower and stuff like that it's just going to be overkill and we really don't need to have too much popping pop power now that we pretty much have everything that we need like there was another massive rush of camo ceramics and they did not make it far at all all right round 79 not struggling one bit we can almost afford to upgrade let, let me see uh 34k so uh, no we would still need another ten thousand to afford the arc mage but if, if you guys did did want to go with the arc mage you you could go ahead and sell uh three of these fire w wizards and you would be able to afford the arc mage as well and of course it is round 80 the oh my god and we should be able to make easy work of this round I don't think the uh, oh my God's gonna make it too far, and at the very least, we'll be able to finish it off if it manages to have balloons make it all the way to this side as well. All right, they had a few balloons make it through, and now, of course, our fire wizards are going to finish it off, completing this challenge. But anyways, guys, I hope you enjoyed the video, and I hope it helped you guys out if you're getting a little bit stuck on this map. And anyways, as always, I hope you guys have the most amazing day of your life. And I will see you guys in the next one.